adding photos into uh, iMovie is about the same as adding B-roll. Uh, it's a little easier to do and you can manipulate how the photos come across uh, using the Kins Burns effect. It's automatically added, um, but you can adjust the photo. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add one of these photos and I want to go ahead and I picked another spot in my video that I want to add. So the audio has already been detached, so I don't have to worry about that. So I'm just going to highlight the video spot. I'm going to do a split, right? Remember we always do a split and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add um, I'm going to click on my film strip and music and then that's going to pull up my recently added and then as you notice this is just all going to be video so what I want to do is I want to click on my photos so recently added and then photos and then I can look through and find the photos that I want right and down here I'm going to select a photo right and it's going to automatically uh, put a couple of seconds with it and then put a Ken Burns effect on it see how it's rotating moving through there and maybe it's not ending up exactly where I want it so I'm going to go ahead and highlight the picture and it, so you see the Ken Burns effect is enabled and you can pinch and pull to kind of move it around and what I want to do is I want this to end so I'm going to drag it down so I can see the dairy hub is the last thing you guys see right so I can see how fast it's moving right? and I want it to go a little bit farther down there we go alright and so now I'm kinda of showcasing that now again because I added something into my video I've got to be able to sync up um, the audio and the video track so you can see how far it's off it looks like it's about almost four track four uh, screens off so I go back here I highlight my video and then I'm gonna simply again hold on to the big yellow line and drag it so I'm trimming the video and then I'm gonna go back and look and see how far I'm off wow that's pretty close and then I'm gonna go listen to it because you always gotta listen so and that synced up pretty well so pretty happy with that so I'm gonna go ahead and let that go